Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we're playing Wreck Paroxysm. The dev, Perspectic, sent me an email saying, hey, I think that you would enjoy our game. Uh, so I thought that we would check it out. Um, if you are an indie horror dev and you would like me to check out your game, send me an email. Uh, send me a key. I will be happy to check it out. Uh, hopefully we will enjoy it and hopefully we will have some good criticism for them. Let's get into it. Hunter. but I can move. This is kind of cool. Sunflowers. Go to the apartment at the end of the street and enter flat number 10. All right. A little bit of chop. Not too bad. I'm liking the colors so far. What city is this? He just said a gloomy city somewhere, right? Is this it? This is not it. Puppy. Puppy. Where you at, puppy? Is that... Why is there a steam pipe here? What are you? Oh, we can zoom in. That's kind of cool. Can't go in there. More sunflowers. Don't have a flashlight. Okay, there it goes. Just had to click it. Enter flat number 10. Can't appear to go down. Uh, lights. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten. Hello? 
this is the top floor apparently. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. What am I doing? There we go. Hold. Collect key. The light is a little bit uh, weird. There we go. Close the door behind us. A bedroom. Just a bedroom. A living room. Place your bag in the in the living room and take the items. Uh, where am I placing my bag? Place the motion sensor in front of the main entrance. Use the EMF reader to detect a level 5 anomaly. We're playing Phasmo? It's not a level 5. Give me a level 5. Give us a sign. Why is the fridge empty? Can I just make a cup of tea? Tea top premium tea. It's kind of cool. You've got decent interactivity in here. Uh, I can't tell what that is. Some kind of canned meat, probably. Breaker. Too many lights will trip the breaker. All right, so where do we get our number five from? Gonna be the bedroom, isn't it? But where? See the creepy Russian bed. Not in here. Gonna be in the bathroom. Oh, is this a closet? Okay. TV is not working. It's not in the bathroom. I 
like the sound work. The sound work is really good. I got an achievement called The Last Supper. I don't think that brings me any closer to finding a ghost. There we go. Perform the summoning ritual here. Where is here? What is this? Salt. Candles. Light the candles. Read the Bible. Is it a? It was Prince who uh, read the Bible in a nightclub one time. Lord of the sacred beings and all spirits, we invoke your holy name in this ritual. You who establish the balance between light and darkness, keeper of the secrets of life and death, we honor you. We gather you to reach your divine light. Purify our souls. you're in the right church here, buddy. You're alive still. Cursed. Chat, are you seeing this? Oh, hi. Uh, that doesn't bode well. Should I go towards the woman who is running at us? That doesn't seem like the right course faction.
Hello? Uh, bye. That got me. Okay. Uh, leave the apartment. Uh, I don't think that's an option anymore. No, thank you. Can I take the knife? I would feel much better with the knife. still out can't see anything out here the pounding is very foreboding but what am I actually doing somehow I don't see a hammer a screwdriver or anything locked there's a battery I think I like that station very much. Can I take the spoon? Can I take the kitchen knife? Can I take a spatula? Still can't take the knife. 
Anything in the bathroom yet? Oh, hi. Uh, boo. Okay. Uh, television. Okay, toilet plus skull equals key. So, toilet plus skull. Uh, collect. Alright, the key. We've got the key. Key for the door, not for the door. Key for the cabinet. Get a flashlight. Flashlight lets us go into the closet, I'm assuming. Oh, interesting. Hello, hello. Locked. Could take the rosary. Could take the rubber ducky. There's the phone. Okay. Went off prematurely. I don't, I don't want any. Are you still locked? Okay. She go out the door. Lights just don't work anymore. I'll, I'll just leave you to it then. Oh, hi. Go away. Uh, you you trapped me in here. What do you mean, go away? I see you. So it's the PT bathroom? Uh, need a hand? Uh, this is your last warning. They are watching. Uh, my flashlight is broken, apparently. Uh, it doesn't work. I don't know where I'm going. I can't see. I don't know where I'm going. Assuming that that's a key. It says key in the corner. 
I can't actually see the key though. And that doesn't work. No. Oh. Hi. Is all this? Still can't go outside. Does this open the cabinet in the closet? It does. What do we got? We got a sledgehammer. You are not alone in this house. The woman you are looking for, aren't you? If you want to find her, listen carefully. Didn't you hear her screams? The echo behind the walls. Her blood still decorates the walls. I placed her there with my own hands right before your eyes, where we hide all our secrets. Keep hiding, but remember, every wall has a secret. Breaker of walls. If this note falls into someone's hands, let them know that they have not freed the woman's spirit. Instead, they have cursed her soul upon themselves. Now her nightmare will be a reality. There is no escape. Nelly's home. Do I just leave now? How does this end? So it can't go down. She pointing?
At the end of this dark adventure, I have come to understand what true fear is. The path I took to explore haunted places and capture supernatural events on camera has come at a heavy price. The terrifying woman's house, the horror of the corpse trapped within the walls, all of it is etched into my mind. As I fled the apartment with the key in my hand, I knew the nightmare I left behind was just the beginning. Did I really escape, or will this horror follow me forever? This question echoes in the depths of my mind, giving me no peace. I am on the brink of losing my sanity. There is no escape from this darkness. I see only one way out. Perhaps this is the only way to end the terror I have lived through. I hope you steer clear of the dark pit I have fallen into. Every adventure comes at a price, and I can no longer pay it. We didn't need that. We didn't need to see it. Rec paroxysm. Paroxysm. Alright, that was Rec Paroxysm by Perspectic. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, it's simple, it's straightforward. Uh, the ending I didn't really like. Um, I did like it better when she was just kind of at the, the edges of his periphery. Uh, I think it would have been better if, like, she stalked him silently for the rest of his life. Uh, the I don't really like the suicide endings, just, like, in general. Um, I think I had that same complaint with this uh, Distraint. Distraint 1 ends with the, the shotgun or something. Um, and I was like, I don't really like that ending. Like, what, why? Why is it all leading here? Um, it would have been better, in my opinion, if, like, it... Um, the ghost just like followed him around uh so like he'd be at the market and see her out of the corner of his eye uh or he'd be like at the um uh train station see her across the platform uh things like that the things where like uh she's following him um there's a story in um the king in yellow i can't remember which story it was though uh, where one of the characters becomes convinced that like there's a person just stalking him um, and uh, that's kind of like that dread of like being followed around and uh, like you duck into a church to get away from them and they still follow you and they're still sitting there and just staring at you uh, I think that that's a better sense of dread than like the uh, jump straight to suicide um, if you are going to use the suicide ending, uh, I would like build it up more, uh, cause there's that jump from, uh, I'm being followed by this ghost, like her curse is upon me to that scene. Um, I would just like, well, first I wouldn't use that ending. Uh, but second, I would just like, uh, have the creepiness of like being followed around your everyday life. That would be the, the better ending in my opinion. Uh, ultimately it comes down to a matter of taste to a matter of like preference. Uh, I just think that that would be more interesting of an ending. Um, you had some really effective scares. I loved the, the knife. That one got me. Um, because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I did expect the woman, um, when she started running towards the house, I was expecting her to come into the, the house. Um, so I, I, um, I kind of got the, the, um, what you call it? Um, the cohesiveness of the, the story. Uh, I just wish that the, the ending was better. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Wreck Paroxysm. Uh, if you are an indie game dev and you would like me to play your game, please email me or send me a key or something uh, so that I can check it out. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.